Behind me, right here, is one of the finest half-ton trucks ever built. This is the GMC Sierra AT4X, and what we're going to talk about today is how it differs from its sibling, I guess you would call it, the GMC Sierra AT4. Many people want to know what is the difference, why is the AT4X more money? Well, that is what we're going to talk about today. So let's get going. All right, so here's the deal. The AT4X is a truck that I have fortunately been uh, had the opportunity to spend a lot of time in, all the way from the deserts in California and the freeways down there in California to the Northern Ontario climates and Northern Ontario highways, as you can see, we're up here in snow right now. And the truck is a phenomenal one, but how does it differ from its sibling, the AT4? Well, at a quick glance, it really is hard to tell the differences between the two. I mean, of course, on the AT4X, you're gonna have the AT4X badging there, clearly, right? That's one of the dead giveaways off the hop. But as far as the trucks themselves, they both have the two inch factory suspension lift. So they're both gonna sit, you know, stature-wise, really, you know, really a lot the same. One of the dead giveaways right off the bat, unless somebody's obviously changed on the truck, would be right down here in the wheels. You're gonna have black wheels when it comes to the AT4X. Now, this is the only wheel option you have with the AT4X and the only tire option you have, which is a Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tires that you see right down there. In terms of the AT4, you do actually have two different wheel options. You have an 18 inch or a 20 inch wheel option, both more of an aluminum looking color. And you have, if you have the 18, you get these same tires here, which is the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tires. If you get a 20, they're a Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT. That's what the 2023 is gonna come with, by the way, but they're gonna be 18s. But anyways, comparing the AT4 and the AT4X, that's one difference right there is gonna be a dead giveaway, the darker tires. All right, so as a heads up, I've been fortunate to team up with a company whose product I've been using for the last couple of years. That's a company called Rockform. I have a really cool product I wanna show you today very quickly, which is this right here. This is their aluminum magnetic wallet. So this is, again, made out of aircraft aluminum, which is really cool. It looks great. It is pretty light, surprisingly, but it does have a steel plate in it. And the reason for that is so that it can easily mount on the back of my rugged case with the MagSafe magnet here. Uh, what I do like also, it does have the RFID blocking for security of the cards. By the way, you can have up to 12 cards in here, which can come out quite easily. Not to mention, you can have 12 bills in here as well. It does have a 60-day money-back guarantee, not to mention a two-year limited warranty as well. This is the aluminum magnetic wallet from rock form you got to go check this out now appearance wise over here slightly slightly different looks in the grill here not a whole lot though again and by the naked eye and quickly looking unless you had them side by side you're not going to really be able to tell one thing though that the at4x doesn't have that the at4 does offer is in terms of box length now this truck right here the at4x is only available in the crew cab trim of course same as the the at4 but only in the five foot eight box you do have the option with a regular AT4 to get a six and a half a box. So if you're looking for a longer box, it might be a deal breaker in terms of the ATX for, AT4X for you, pardon me. Underneath the hood is another difference. Underneath the hood on the AT4 um, is two options and engines. On this one, the AT4X, you only have the option of the 6.2 liter. Obviously a monster motor, you know, 420 horsepower, 460 foot pound of torque. Awesome truck, awesome motor for this truck, I should say. But you do also have in the AT4, you have the option for the Duramax three liter turbo diesel. So again, one other difference there. But other than that, the AT4X starts to show why it is more money because it has a lot more options in terms of features, in terms of off-road capability. And you know, again, as I mentioned, they both come with the two inch factory lift. However, you're gonna have some more skid plate protection in the AT4X, uh, specifically the transfer case area. That's one major difference. Another massive, and I'm gonna tell you this, after driving the truck extensively, firsthand, what I can say is the suspension on this is absolutely outstanding. It is phenomenal. It is a massive difference between it and the AT4, and that is these shocks right down here. The Multimatic DSSV piggyback dual, you know, twin spool shocks down there, the thing about these shocks is when you're on a normal paved road, the truck, even though it's an off-road truck, rides remarkably smooth. But when you do get into the whoops of the desert or on the off-road Canadian terrain, whatever it is you're driving and it hits get rougher, they stiffen up and it gives you a phenomenal ride in that aspect as well. So the thing about the AT4X to me over the AT4 is you can go rough off-roading, but you can also drive it down and 
it could be a pavement princess, as some people want to call it, and drive smoothly that way. That is a massive difference that you do not have in the AT4 that the AT4X offers is the suspension. I'm going to talk about more off-road here in a second, but one of the cool things, they both come with the multi-pro tailgate. However, boom, standard in the AT4X is the kicker audio system. Yes, this is an option. You can get this in the AT4, but it is a standard feature in the AT4X. There's more standard features the AT4X has, some things that are available in the AT4, but most things we're going to be talking about right now are just what differentiate them and you cannot get in the AT4. All right, interior-wise, right here, they call this Obsidian Rush, and it has a white piping here, as you can see, not to mention it even has some really cool red stitching here also. I like the seat bags here. This is available in the, uh, the AT4, of course, but this whole interior is different in terms of its looks from the AT4. You have this different look. It's jet black with a Kalahari leather in the regular AT4. How about this too? Speakers, I can see back here and here. This has a 12 speaker stereo system. It's a 12 speaker Bose stereo system. Whereas in the AT4, it's only a seven speaker. So it has a more premium sound system in the AT4X than in the AT4, all right? The other things, a couple more things. Again, here's your interior, as you can see up here in the front again. Now, one of the other things that makes them different is not this here, although this is amazing. This came out in 2022, this whole new interior in terms of the 13.4 inch screen here and the 12 inch screen in front of the driver, fully programmable there. Uh, heads up display comes standard in the AT4X. It is not a standard feature in the AT4. It is an option. Same thing with the uh, rear vision camera mirror. Uh, that there is a standard feature in the AT4X, not standard in the AT4, uh, but it is an option in the AT4. All right, so aside Aside from the difference in looks of the interior, again mentioned that the, the, the AT4 is a jet black with the Kalahari leather. Um, there's some more things that the seats offer in the AT4X than the AT4 does. Uh, namely, of course, they both have you know heated and ventilated. However, the AT4X offers this right down here. And watch when I press this, you're going to see it has the massaging seat option. Massive difference there. Not to mention, this is what they call a 16-way positional seat, whereas it's a 12-way positional seat in the AT4, so you have more adjustability, more maneuverability in the AT4X seat. Not to mention one last thing, you are gonna get full green leather front and rear in the AT4X, it's not the same leather in the AT4. Still leather, still good leather, but it's not the same quality of leather that you're gonna get in AT4. So there is a difference in the quality of leather. Speaking of leather, another little difference here. See the handles here? I don't know if you can tell in the camera. You'll see more in the front here. It's got a little leather wrap here around the grab handles in the front and the rear. That is something the AT4X offers that the AT4 does not. So another major difference there. Well, sorry, shouldn't say major, but another difference there that the AT4 offers. Now, in terms of off-road, again, we already talked about the suspension, we talked about the skate plates underneath, but another one we have to talk about is right down here. That is your front and rear locking differential. Yes, you have selectable locking differential. First time in a full-size half-ton truck from GMC in the modern era that you're gonna have that ability to lock and unlock the differentials on demand. You do not have that option when it comes to the AT4. Not to mention they have something called one pedal drive. When you put this truck in terrain mode, you can actually drive the truck with just the gas pedal. If you let off and you're going slow enough and you let right off, it'll actually put the brakes on and stop the truck. That is another massive difference that the AT4X offers over the AT4. All right, so are those differences that I mentioned today enough to get you into the AT4X? I can tell you firsthand after driving it, again, I've mentioned this numerous times through the video, I am absolutely sold on the crossover effect that this truck has in terms of the ability to drive it on the pavement, to take the kids to the hockey game, to go to a concert, but also to take it off-road, to take it camp, to take it out to hunting, and so on. The AT4X blows my mind in terms of its ability. I would spend the extra money had I had that extra money sitting around, uh, but that is up to you to decide. That's the difference between the AT4 and the AT4X. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, take care.